Hello, welcome to another episode of Kara's Cookie Jars. We have another reveal. These cookie jars were purchased locally from an antique slash thrift store here on 52. So they weren't wrapped up individually, but they did protect them with paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look and see what we got here. We'll just grab the first one out. Oh, my favorite. So our first reveal is ice cold Coca-Cola. And inside of it is the lid. We got this one for $25. What's the name of that uh, thrift store, antique store up on 52? I forgot. Anyway. So, here we are, 2022. The only good use for newspaper is wrapping antiques. How about that? So, there we go. That's an antique... How old is it? And the survey says 2002 Coca Cola Cookie Company or Coca Cola Company and Franklin Park, Illinois, made in China. Imagine that. Anyway, so that is a 20 year old cookie jar. What's the name of that place? You got? You guys got your? Where's your phone? I'm using the phone to record. <laughs> What's it? It's something thrift, something antique, something. Go get your phone. Look it up. Hmm. All right. While we're looking up the name of that store, we'll go ahead with our next reveal. And this one's not wrapped up, but it is a nice snowman. Love snowman. I love blue. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just be glad. We're, we're, viewing, we're recording. Oh. oh. We're recording. So Maybe anyway, cut that out. all right. Anyway, so we got this guy six dollars and fifty cents, and uh, it's another china. So it's not old by any means, but it's a really nice cookie jar. Don't have that one, so we'll set him right there. All right, what is next wrapped up here with this? What's the name of that thrift store, Karen? All right. And it's a head. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's got to be a bottom to that. That's funny. Okay. Oh, I'll look it up. You want me to look it up? I'll look. Okay, all right. Uh, I love that one. All right, so oh well, uh, it's up on fifty-two. <coughs> What's the name one. of it? It's up where the old Ryan's used to be, right? Yep. Okay. You know what? Hawaii doesn't your phone. All right, let's go to maps. I can look it up on maps easier. I know how to use that better. Maps. Maps. Fifty-two Treasure Marts Hudson. There it is. It's called Treasure Marts. Treasure Marts Multi Mall is where we picked all of these up from. Treasure Marts Multi Mall from Hudson, Florida. All right, so we got a head here. We don't have a body yet, so let's see what else do we have. And another head, and that would be a cat. 
And the cat is a $16 for a kitty cookie jar. Oh, that goes with this one. There we go. $16, Dean Martin. Really? Dean Martin's a dead man. Him and Jerry Lewis, right, both? Mm -hmm. Oh, another made in China. So it's not a not an antique by any means. Alright, so we'll set that in there. And now let's bring this in here. Because I gotta find a body for that. Because that guy, I remember getting him. What do we have here? Is another head. Alright, so we're gonna wind up with a lot of heads, right? Oh, that was a nice one. That was a really good find right there. Paid $14 for the camel, the traveling merchant's camel. Another made in China. Original price, $14.99. We paid $14. We saved $0.99 cents off of that. Right there. That was a really nice, unique looking one. Now, this one Karen liked a whole lot. The kitty cat in a basket. Cat in a flower basket right there for $8. You couldn't pass this up. And, oh, made in China. But it's embossed or engraved or whatever you call it. But uh, So it's a little bit older. doesn't have a sticker. So that's an older one. Okay, and then... We have this here. Okay, that's going to be the body for our panda bear. So that's where the head for that goes. Our panda bear with the baby bear. $19.99 for that one. I don't see any markings on the bottom for that. Let's take a look inside. Nothing marked inside, so that's just a generic one. Not one specific. And that's in the box two. So our third and final box to reveal. Here we go. Oops a daisy. And to start us off. Oh, our favorite look at Tweety Bird. We noticed Tweety Bird had a little bit of damage when we bought him, but that's really not that noticeable if you present it from this side for $10.99. And this is a Looney Tune special right here, made in China. If you want good cookie jars, apparently you got to go to China. I don't know. And it was 50% off, so we must have got it for half of 11. How about that? Now, there's got to be a body for this guy. Where in the world is that? Aha! There it is. Oh, it's from the movie Frozen by Disney. All right. It's not a toy. Hand wash only. And it was uh, made in China. Imagine that. His name is Olaf, by the way. I don't know nothing about that. Oh. And there he is. Look at that. <laughs> you couldn't pass that guy up. Not, not for $26, you couldn't pass him up. That was our most expensive one, I believe. All right. Now, Tweety Bird, if I recall, did not come with a top. No. We bought him. He was cheap. 50% off. So we got him for $6, $5.50. He doesn't have a top, but if you put him up on a top shelf, you're never going to know he doesn't have a lid. Mm -hmm. He'll present well. I mean, put the crack to the side, put him up high enough, nobody can see the top, but it's still a really, really nice cookie jar. All right, here is another one that we kind of liked. Little Tweety Birds on here. It's a Napco. That is definitely an antique. Napco is definitely an antique. Absolutely. You can tell by the way it's made. So, 
About $19 for that one. It's definitely one we don't have. And last but not least is Redneck Yacht Club. <laughs> <laughs> So for fourteen dollars, well, that's a really nice cookie jar. I like that one, it's heavy. So uh, let's see, Omnibus made in China by Fritz and Floyd, nineteen ninety six copyright. So. That's about uh, 24, 5, 6 years old. Not bad. So anyway, so just for a point of reference, we found all of this at Treasure Mart mm -hmm. up in Hudson. And it's an antique store slash thrift store, but mostly antiques and people selling stuff. And we only went through two aisles and a back room. There were still five aisles left to go through. We had to stop once we spent this money. We spent over $150, I guess, to get these. And we're like, oh, heck no. <laughs> we have to stop. But the thing is, now we still have an adventure to go find more. And we've been able to save up enough money to go do them. If nobody goes there before we get there now. What? If nobody goes there before we get there now. Well, nobody's going to go there before we get there. Who's going to steal Karen's cookie jar collection? Nobody, but nobody. And if you have a cookie jar that you don't see in our collection, feel free. We'll leave a link below, and you can send us an email or a text saying, hey, check out the cookie jar I have. We might just buy it from you. So for this episode of Karen's Cookie Jars, reveal... We'll see you next time.